Hey guys, it's Danny, uh, One Lucky Bullet. And we're gonna do a quick, and when I say quick, I mean quick, unboxing of this Ambernick Win 600. Now, for reference, this is, uh, if it'll zoom, the 3050E model. So there's two variations. There's a 3050E and a 3020E. Uh, both come with eight gigs of DDR4 uh, memory, which is, as I said in the previous video, single channel. So definitely go with the 3050 if you can. Um, I would highly advise it. So in the box, we've got some packaging for, I guess, um, if you want to connect to the internet, which uh, I think most people would know how to connect to the internet. I just butchered that box getting it out, but eh, it'll be okay. All right, so let's see what we got in this. What is this? It's kind of weird feeling, but it um, doesn't want to come out. Huh, all right. Let's just shake it out, guys. There we go. So it is a power brick and USB-C to type C cord. And this power brick is rated. Well, I'm not seeing a rating on it, which doesn't give me uh, very good feelings, actually. Hmm. Uh, well, it looks like it says it's a 60 which hmm, I thought it would be a 65, but we'll go with it. Um, pretty nice USB-C cable. As you can tell, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, we've seen worse, we've seen better. Uh, this is the unit itself. So real quick, just so everybody knows, this is a Windows-based handheld PC. It's got a 3050E uh, AMD chip in it. And then it also has Vega 3 graphics. Um, retail price for the 3020E is, I think it's 330. Yeah, 330 bucks. And 3050E is 399. Um, they have been running a few sales on it lately, but I'll tell you straight up, it, it is, there's no way it's, it's, it's worth 400. Not when you've got this. That standard, you know, starting price is 400. Uh, this model I have was 650, but like I said, you know, it was the the premium version with the the case and the anti glare and et cetera, et cetera. So for this to be 400, you know, it would have to hit harder than that, better than that, and and it, and it doesn't. I can just tell you that just from watching other people's videos, it doesn't, but that's not the reason I wanted it. Um, Ambernick makes some pretty good handhelds, um, but they also make some terribly priced handhelds. Uh, the, the prime example is this, the RG552, $230 for that. Um, is it worth $230? Absolutely not. Uh, maybe a buck 50 for that is where it would be. This probably should have been 230 bucks because it's got to compete with the AYN Odin, um, you know, the Odin Light, And now they have a, a Loki coming out. Um, you know, and all of these are in between two to $400. Uh, plus A and Neo has some stuff coming. Uh, the Air, which is around 500 and, and up if you spec it out. So the reason that I wanted this was for retro gaming, not for PC gaming like, uh, you know, a lot of people probably probably want it for. Um, for me, it was, it was, can I get something that I'm going to enjoy that... You know, I can run Botticera on, because that's what I'm going to run on it. I'm going to run Botticera and use it just for 
retro emulation. I'm not going to use it for uh, PC games and all that. You know, I don't need it. So, as you can see, we have a headphone jack, two downward firing speakers on the back. We have an air exhaust. Or no, that's the intake, I believe. And then here's the exhaust. So I will say right off the bat, I do like these triggers. The triggers are great. These buttons, pretty average. But the triggers, they feel really good. For the buttons, squishy, not bad. The, the sticks, they remind me of switch joysticks, but it feels like it doesn't have as much travel to them, if that makes sense. Like it's barely. The D-pad. Huh. I, I do like the dent and I like the little bit of texture colors that it has to it. Not a big fan of the start and select. Um, they're okay. Um, I, I do like this, the full size USB. And then you have a USB C, and looks to me like a reset button, which, whatever. On the side, we have a power and a volume rocker. And then over here, we have basically it's a function of the game. All right, so I had to take a quick pause there. So as I was saying, on this side, that's a power and a volume rocker. And then on this side, that looks like a Windows key and the mouse versus game pad controller. Uh, you know, build wise, I mean, it feels good. It doesn't feel the best. Um, I don't know, you would think with something with this much heft, the grips would be a little bit more pronounced, uh, especially right up here where my finger is, as you can see, that finger. You see how it just kind of slopes down and then it's just flat. If they would have just kept the, the, the apex of that going just a little bit more, it would have actually provided you something to actually fully grip to on the back. Um, I mean, that's the RG552. It's just straight flat. But when you're getting into these size handhelds, you, you want something to hold. Take out the fact that this has buttons on the back. Let's just pretend it doesn't. It still has that grip. That's what you need when you're holding something, you know, relatively near the same size category. I mean, when you look at this, this, God, the Steam Deck is huge <laughs> compared to everything. But, you know, when you look at it and then you look at this, you really would like a little bit more grip. But this is, you know, just, like I said, this is just a quick unboxing. I just wanted to check it out, see what comes with. Obviously, we get a screen protector and a user manual. Yay. And that's really about it. Um, I'm going to install the screen protector, go through it, get it set up, and then I will be back, hopefully, you know, in a couple days or whatever, after I've put Botticera on this and set it completely up the way I want it to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it, how well it performs, and uh, put it against, uh, you know, the Steam Deck or a, even the A-Neo when it comes to emulation. I mean, I'll even, you know, even against these. And I do have a Retroid Pocket 3 coming. I, I pre-ordered that. It's just, uh, yeah, it hasn't got here yet, so we're still waiting on it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's certain games you guys want me to cover um, when it comes to these emulation videos or, or whatever. 
you know, a, a big inspiration that I follow is is Russ over there on the Retro Game Core uh, channel. You know, he's the one that kind of got me back into the retro and stuff. Uh, so I'm no, I'm not going to be anywhere near as detailed as he is. He, I mean, he's he's good at what he does. I'm just an everyday guy. That's that's me. Uh, I have a very limited understanding of Linux and you know, running command codes and Windows PowerShell and all that good stuff. I'm just a normal guy like everybody else who enjoys these things and says, hey, what's the average person think? You know, how much tinkering are they going to be able to do before they get lost? So let me know what you guys think. Hit me back up. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Sub to the channel if you want, you know. Uh, either way, glad to be talking to you guys. Glad to be back. Until the next one.